people. You're watching the investigation and updates. What's the latest, Chris? Well, I can tell you right now, we're just waiting uh, for a police briefing, the first one since last night. We're expected to get some more details of what they've learned into the key unanswered questions here. Authorities have been pretty good so far at answering the what happened. It's the why it happened, uh, which is what everyone's stuck on now. I'm right at the as close as you can get really to the scene of where all this went down at the social services center. Police have this uh, road blocked off, but a kilometer or so away. Uh, what they've feel pretty clear now about what happened was that uh, uh, Farouk Saeed, uh, Saeed Farouk was actually at this event at a Christmas party with people he worked with, people he knew. He was sitting with them. Uh, something happened. There may have been an argument that they don't know for sure. Uh, when he returned with his wife, uh, Tashfeen Malik, they were both heavily armed and they started shooting. Uh, as we know, dozens of people, 31 in total, were hit and uh, some of them died. 14 of them are dead. Uh, and then they had an escape plan. They hopped in a black SUV and they headed out. And police uh, obviously heard uh, who the man was, who police uh, people fingered. They had a car outside a, a, a residence where I think they believe they, he lived. And when this black SUV came by that house, they took off after him, and as we all know, that led to the shootout and the uh, and the death of the pair. Uh, the president spoke about this earlier today. Uh, let's hear what he had to say. At this stage, we do not yet know uh, why this terrible event occurred. Uh, we do know that uh, the two uh, individuals who were killed uh, were equipped with uh, weapons uh, and uh, appeared to have access to uh, additional weaponry at their homes. Uh, but we don't know why they did. So people want to know, was this a terrorist incident? Was it a case of workplace rage? Uh, those are the questions at this moment that really we don't have an answer to. And Chris, what have you learned about the suspects? This is a remarkable, uh, horrible uh, event that's happened. And remarkable, I say, because it's very unusual to have two shooters and to have one of the mass murderers be a woman. That very rarely has happened in the U.S. Uh, and what we had here was a, a couple that had a six-month-old child. They dropped the six-month-old off at the grandmother's house just a few hours before this shooting, and then they went and committed this atrocity. So that's extremely unusual. We understand that uh, Sa Saeed Farouk met this woman online. He used online dating sites. I've seen some of them. He had a, a, a bio out there, talked about how he wanted to meet a, a good Muslim woman, and he apparently did. She's originally from Pakistan. He apparently went to Saudi Arabia. People who knew him talked about how he returned from a trip to Saudi Arabia with this woman. Uh, and, but they also said, you know, they, they were a pretty nice couple. In fact, nice enough that some people at his uh, workplace even threw them a baby shower. So uh, very little of this on that front makes sense. And uh, that's obviously one of the Im very important lines of inquiry that they're following up today. Thank you, Chris. CBC's Chris Brown in San Bernardino, California.